So what's going down, everybody? This is your boy, Big Drewski, and welcome to another edition of Space Bucket Growing with Drewski. This is Growth in All Forms 5. Um, a lot's gone on. Uh, I took a little break to focus on um, Stax's Space Bucket Grow. We got him on Tangimatic from Fast Buds. Uh, that's too fast for buds.com. If you guys are looking for auto seeds, um, his is looking real well. We've got him plenty of spacers now. We just picked up uh, five different spacers. Um, they're all like the Home Depot orange bucket joints, but um, we got stacked saws all on those down, and uh, we're going to shoot some foil tape over his way um, to get that, uh, that tangy going and to see how that grows in that space bucket. Um, as for the grows that we have going over here or the two grows that I have going over here, we sacrificed one. I know there's going to be a lot of disappointed ears that hear that, but um, things, I don't know what happened. It's all of a sudden that the plant just took a dump. It was kind of weird. Um, watering it. LEDs, all that good stuff. I think it was the just initial problems that the plant ran into earlier in its stages of life that it just couldn't bounce back and flower once it got to a certain point. It was like it was just too strenuous on it. And uh, it started to die off on me, even with water and plenty of light and all that good stuff. Um, it was starting to get, it was burning. It wasn't growing properly. It wasn't. It just wasn't doing anything. It was like stunted. So um, that one got sacrificed and it is now um, an empty. We got an empty space bucket. So I'm going to clean that one out, uh, dump the uh, the soil that was in that one, flush all that out with some, uh, some pH water and um, the uh, Herculean harvest. Um, mixture in a gallon of water i'm just gonna flush the whole thing do that a few times and i'm just gonna run water all the way through that thing for about a day uh since it's in a uh, smart pot we can kind of get that going and just flush all that out especially all the nutrients that we did feed it and everything like that um get that all out of there and then we're going to reflip it and plant um another seed that being said i don't know what i'm gonna grow um i do have quite the selection to choose from so it's one of those uh it's kind of up in the air to let things go the way they need to go but um you know we're just working um p47 from leafly aka purple grenade uh from the oasis cultivation brand that breeder there um, we've got a lot, a lot, a lot that's happened. We've gone through defoliation, um, on, what was it? It was like week three, right into the flower flip. Um, we're like week five into flower. Um, and so tonight, uh, another dose of full nutrients and foliar bloom, uh, added in or bloom chaos sorry um is added into the mix that's gonna get fed tonight uh it was the night before and then when you check on it you start seeing that trichome development pop so uh we're just gonna keep going on the regimen that was given to us from uh nectar for the gods and we're just gonna keep that rolling man we've got nice 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 development going nice swell um a lot of bud sites um things are looking really really golden on that plant and i can't wait um like six more weeks until this thing's in my lungs and man the anticipation um but the cool thing about it is is watching this one grow um, learning from the mistakes that I made with the, uh, the bag seed strain and, um, 
you know, with environment changes and heat and all that good stuff, um, it's taught me a lot in how to like prepare for your cannabis plants and any problems that could, could arise. Um, for me, this was kind of weird having this problem indoors, but it happens, you know what I'm saying? Especially like when air conditioning goes out, your room starts to get too hot, things of that nature. Um, you really got to just be careful and watch your, your grow environment to make sure that, you know, you're growing your cannabis in the right environment uh, so that it will maximize its growth. So it was something to learn from. We got everything taken care of on that end, but uh, it was just kind of kind of disappointing to let one plant go, but letting one plant go uh, is letting another plant flourish and I'm good with that because if one plant's flourishing to its max potential, then that means everything else that I'm going to do from here on out is going to be the exact same way. So, um, what I'm planning on doing is, uh, looking at what I have seed wise. I've got quite a few. I've got Tinkerbell, which is, um, an unknown lineage, but we do have the name, um, so we've got that. We've got um, a couple more Granddaddy Purple Crosses to work with. And so I'm kind of excited. Um, my boy's got uh, a Tangy Auto Seed. I believe he's got a couple more left. I'm going to see if I can shoot one of those from Stacks and um, get this from seed to harvest in about nine to ten weeks. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on that, uh, so we're going to shoot that over. Hopefully that happens, because I'd love to get my hands on a, uh, on auto seed and actually see what the growth is like and see what ruderalis um, strains do to, to, to your, your phenos. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how that growth and that progress works out, especially under um, an LED-lit situation. The grow that we have going with stacks right now is under CFL. And um, a CFL grow, don't get me wrong, I loved my CFL grow when it first started. I had everything perfect. Um, the environment was nice. The growth was nice. I was sitting there going uh, to do a natural grow with CFL. And so, um, you know, we we had that going, and then we switched it over to LED but there were just too many problems in between. So um, knowing that, uh, I'm looking forward into uh, uh, experimenting and growing with autos. And that's just because I want to see what an auto seed really does, like firsthand. You know what I'm saying? Like we're watching it through um, Sax's journey, and that's all good and well. But... um to see, you know, how fast and the progress of these grows, because I do check my grow daily, just like Stax does. Um, but for Phenos, it's like, it takes a week, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then you you really see results, you know, week after week after week. It's not more of a daily, hourly process um, that you would see with an auto seed. So that's something I'm really looking forward into doing. Um if we can get, you know, two Tangy Matics going, one under LED, one under CFL to see how that's going to go. Um, I'd love to get that experiment started. So, um, you know, things of that nature have to happen. You know what I'm saying? You got to talk and connect with people. Hopefully I can get that other seed from my boy and uh, we can make things happen. As for the P47, uh, we have done some things that are true to the um, the grow that we're doing. So just to give you guys a little sample of what we've been using, we're using the Nectar for the Gods um, sample pack that they shot us, which includes 
their Olympus up, which is a pH up because these are all organic uh, materials, hand bottled in small batches so that, you know what I'm saying, they're, uh, they're the same brews that they would use in their gardens um, on a smaller scale. But, uh, you know, we're using that liquid calcium, which is the, the Demeter's Destiny. Um, so that has 0.5% phosphate and 4.0% calcium. And it's derived from calcium phosphate. Um, you want to shake all this really good. All of these that you want, that you have from, uh, these nectar for the gods, you really want to, uh, shake and aerate and, you know, mix very well. Uh, this Herculean harvest, which is the liquid bone meal, uh, we use this during feed, and then we can, we're going to also use this during our flush. So uh, while we're flushing out all the other nutrients and everything that are in the soil and everything like that, and uh, getting everything out of the plant and just having it water fed for the last uh, couple of weeks of its life before we harvest, we're going to go... Um, and use Herculean harvest for our flush as well. Um, we have a growth enhancer, which is Zeus juice. Oh, this stuff's got a—it's got some things in there I can't really uh, pronunciate or enunciate. Uh, but Zeus juice growth enhancer. Uh, since I've been using all of these nutrients from Nectar for the Gods, I've actually seen a boost in growth. Um, and it's just amazing. Um, we also have another one from them. That's their uh, soil nutrient, which is Medusa's Magic. This is uh, you know, another one that has a lot of stuff. This one looks like it's nitrogen. Yeah, this is like a lot of nitrogen here. So this soil nutrient with the growth enhancer with liquid bone meal with calcium. And then you have Gaia Mana, which is another supplement uh, that they have. And then we have Athena's Amnius, which is not listed as of what it is. But, ah, Nitrogen. And in protein. So there you go. You got nitrogen, protein. And then for the mid-flowering to late-flowering stages, uh, you can also use this as a foliar bloom. We've been using Bloom Chaos, which is the Nectar for the Gods foliar spray. When you're in your um, veg period. And then when you're in mid-flower and late-flower, you're going to add this to your mix Make sure you pH, and you're gonna see some some uh, some results when it comes to the bloom stages. Like um, I used this a couple of days ago, wasn't really seeing trichome development hit too hard, and then all of a sudden, bang, fur everywhere on different parts of the plant. So um, that's one of those things I'm really really happy to see that this bloom chaos actually does uh, help with you know fattening your buds trichome development things of that nature so um those are some really cool things to see now the good thing about the nectar for the gods nutrients is that you don't have to follow the exact regimen that they give you um especially if you get the sample pack and uh you know you uh you follow that regimen i'm following the regimen because this is my first grow and so I'm trying to see what uh, exactly uh, um, was suggested, I guess you could say, what was suggested in the grows and what you use and everything like that. Another sample that I have that I've been adding into the mix is Full On, which is a specialty plant nutrient, um, which enhances plant growth through all cycles of its life. So I've been using... Uh, this has got to be a deuce, maybe two, three ounces. Nah, yeah, about two, three, maybe four ounces. Uh, I use a teaspoon of it every time I mix my feed. 
And um, I kind of want to see what's going to happen once I don't have this for my next grow. I'm going to use just the nectar for the gods and nutrients with no full on. But this full on stuff is freaking amazing, man. Um, it adds uh, 0.20% of uh, ammoniacal nitrogen. 0.40% of water soluble nitrogen and 0.4% water soluble insoluble nitrogen. It also has um, phosphate, which is P2O5 at a 0.1% and potash, which is K2O at a 0.7% uh, ratio. So it just adds like that little bit of boost to everything else that you have in your nutrient kit um and that's what's been helping all the growth man all the growth that's on the purple grenade um i kind of give a tribute to the apollo holder culture 180 watt led light system that i do have um with a 100 watt led spacer built by our sponsor Rain Man Space Bucket Micro Grows. Um, if you're on Instagram, check them out at Mostly Safe Eight. If you are shopping around on the internet, you can find them uh, on Etsy. They do have an Etsy store. The link is in their Instagram bio. But um, I'd really, really, really encourage a lot of people to look into their space buckets, especially if you're doing, you know, singular grows. Uh, you want to grow kind of stealthy indoors. You don't want to turn a whole room into a grow room. Um, then what you want to do is you want to you want to get a space bucket uh, coming soon from the elevated gardens. We have the elevated garden space buckets coming soon. Uh, we got a few developments that we're working on in that, but uh, right now we're perfecting our own grows and our own techniques and everything like that. So that way. When we come out with a kit for you guys, we can actually um, follow through and see how that's going to go along. So, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, just one of those things that, folks, this takes time and patience. Um, yeah, this is looking like a September harvest. No, October, October harvest, like smoking, you know what I'm saying? Like early October, hopefully by my anniversary, I'll have some P47 uh, ready to smoke, you know what I'm saying? Which would be super, super dope. Um, I'm just looking forward to it, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. This is Growth in All Forms 5, another edition of Space Bucket Growing with Drewski. Just to get you guys a nice little quick update before uh, our new episode of What Are We Doing? Uh, records Saturday. It drops Sunday. Um, our first episode of Space Bucket Growing with Stacks is online. Um, if you're looking up the Elevated Lifestyle podcast, uh, you'll find us on the Spreaker Network. You can find all his stuff. Uh, follow Stacks Five One Zero, uh, the show, him some support and check out his Space Bucket Grow. Remember, he's doing a CFL build um, with Tangi Matic from Fast Buds. That's Too Fast Four Buds dot com. Um, myself, Oasis Cultivations. Look them up on Instagram. Uh, I am growing their P Forty Seven. That's Leafly's name. It's a purple grenade, and it looks like a purple grenade every time I look at that thing. The thing is so freaking awesome. So, y'all stay tuned. Stay listening. Thanks for all your support. And uh, check us out on the Instagram. Follow us on the Grows. Holla at y'all one time, folks. <laughs>